Hey guys, uh, so I got a, uh, actually I got this this pan, it's a chicken fryer. It's a number eight Wagner uh, chicken fryer. But I got this a while ago and I hadn't really done anything with it. And I've had it in my, just in, you know, where I keep my cast iron. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of avoiding seasoning it and getting it, uh, you know, pretty much to what I want it to, you know, keep it at or have it at. That way I can use it. So, I, I like I said, I was kind of avoiding it. Uh, but finally got around to it and uh, over the weekend I just uh, cleaned it out. Um, I had purchased this from somebody on Facebook marketplace and uh, like I said I just kind of put it away. Never really did much probably like a month or two ago. Um, but anyway so you know I got it here and uh, I like I said I seasoned it, cleaned it, seasoned it, did all that and uh, so I finally decided hey the first thing I want to do let's let's deep fry some some french fries um, and uh, I actually that wasn't the first thing actually what i ended up doing the first thing was to deep fry some chicken it's a chicken fryer so chicken chicken it was but it, it turned out great you know i was uh, pretty amazed how well it did uh it pretty much cooked my my uh chicken nuggets i, I pretty much made chicken nuggets for my son uh and it cooked them uniformly like it you know it didn't really burn anything like it wasn't uh uneven or anything like that and and it did a great job. Nothing stuck, nothing burnt. Um, obviously, knowing your your uh, you know with cast iron, I always stay at a medium. Uh, deep frying probably medium to medium high, uh, not that high. You know, I never really set them to high. Um, so anyway, uh, and it blew me away. It did a great job, and and I decided I was like, oh, you know what? I need to make a video of the uh, you know this chicken fryer. It's a deep. Um, I don't know. I think it's about four inches deep. Uh, it's almost the same size as a large uh, deep fryer because um, I also have one of those. And uh, But anyway, so it's about the same dimensions uh, as, as a lodge. If you guys have seen one or have one, uh, they're about the same size. But anyway, this is just, you know, some of the vintage iron that I've collected. And like I said, I just wanted to uh, give you guys, you know, a quick video of, you know, cooking. Um, like I said, uh, these are just, you know... My channel is going to be about cooking, uh, cast iron, and maybe some random things here and there. But, um, uh, you know, here, like I said, uh, this was, you know, something I did for my for my wife and my, my kids. Um, fries, they love fries. So, like I said, French fries. Uh, what I did first uh, was I boiled the potatoes, I want to say halfway through, and then cut them up um, and, you know, into these uh, thin slices as French fries and then put them in the deep fryer. Um, Normally I do about a 350 uh, degree oil and I use, um, I usually use grapeseed, but uh, this time I used canola. And uh, like I said, it's doing a great job, you know, it's, it's cooking really well. And um, so what am I going to do with these fries? I'm going to, uh, like I said, cook the fries and then uh, my idea was to do a uh, nacho fries style, where, which is ground beef, uh, seasoned it actually with Kinder's uh, seasoning. Uh, they sell at Costco, uh, and my wife liked it a lot. Actually, she said it was really great. But um, so seasoned it with uh, you know the ground beef with Kinder's. Did some ground beef. Um, I did a little bit of uh, uh, cheese, uh, the nacho cheese sauce. I forget what brand, um, but it was one of the ones I had on hand, and uh, some avocado. Um, and then uh, to top it off, I actually for the first time made a salsa. Um, I'll, I'll, if you guys are interested, I'll probably post a video of making how to make salsa, uh, Mexican style salsa. But, um, you know, they turned out great. You can see here the, the potatoes fried really well and, and, uh, I was very happy. So, um, you know, if you guys want to make this, this is actually a very easy meal to make. And it was, you know, something my wife enjoyed. Like I said, uh, very easy ground beef, you know, it's the potatoes or the fries, ground beef, cheese, uh, avocado garnish it whatever way you want but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i appreciate your guys's time thank you for watching